You know how there are certain days in your life that are just seared into your memory? You can remember the day in full detail, just like it was yesterday. One of those days in my life is September 27th, 2016. This is the day that Elon Musk stood on stage and he announced that he was going to send a million people to Mars. He had it all figured out and there was a video that explained it. He had these gigantic rockets, he had in-orbit refueling, he had these capsules that could carry 100 people at a time. He was going to ship a million people to Mars and he made it sound completely believable. One key thing to keep in mind is that a million people is a lot of people. Think about the city of San Francisco. It only contains about 800,000 people, but it's 50 square miles or 30 or 40,000 acres. It's gigantic. Imagining that you can move that many people to Mars and that you can house them and feed them and everything else is just spectacular. His vision was so audacious, so amazing that it nearly made my head explode. My first reaction literally was, wow, oh, I can't believe this is so amazing. My second reaction was, I doubt this is ever going to happen. Okay, maybe he can get a dozen people to Mars or a hundred, but a million, that's like, that's going to cost trillions of dollars, take infinity time. It's hard to imagine it ever really happening. But my third reaction was, this is the framework for the greatest thought experiment of all time. Because you can do so much with the idea of sending a million people to Mars it's just an amazing thought space to work in. The thing about Mars is that it's a completely blank slate for human beings to draw on. There's nothing but rocks and sand and ice there right now. So we can do anything we want. And why wouldn't we want to create something really spectacular there? Something where we've gotten rid of all the problems and the crap that we see on Earth today. Just think about it. Do we want there to be war on Mars? No. Corruption? No. Crime? No. Poverty? No. We don't want any of that stuff to infect the Mars colony that we're going to build there. And that's the thing that makes it such a great thought experiment. How would you create a society that eliminates all of that stuff? The Mars colony also gives us hundreds of questions that we can think about. Let me give you a simple example. Are there going to be dogs and cats as pets on Mars or not? Yes or no? Which is it going to be? What about cows and pigs and chickens for meat? Are we going to have meat on Mars or not? What about things like cigarettes or cocaine or racism or abortion or money? Like they never had money on Star Trek. Do we actually need it on Mars? One of the biggest questions that this whole thought experiment raises is who gets to go to Mars? I mean, think about it. How do we pick the people who actually get to go? So let's try this. What if we did a lottery? We just pick a million people to go to Mars off of planet Earth completely at random using a lottery. One advantage of this is that we get this wide variety, this great mix of nationalities and cultures and languages and races. It'd be representative of planet Earth. But the problem is we would pick up a bunch of unsavory characters in the process. So flying to Mars, there would be some murderers and some rapists and some jihadists and some misogynists and pedophiles and... You know, just think of all the different forms of assholery that you can think of. They would be in the mix going to Mars if we used a, a lottery. And this is a really interesting thing to think about. Do we want there to be assholes on Mars? Just, you know, think about it. If you're living in a big glass bubble on another planet and you can't ever leave or go outside, do you want to be in that bubble with a bunch of assholes? The knee-jerk reaction you might have is, well, no, obviously we would never send a bunch of assholes to Mars. We'd just filter them all out. We'd only send nice people. But then this is the question that raises. If we wouldn't send these assholes to Mars, why do we allow them to walk around freely on Earth? 
I mean, why don't we filter them out here instead of letting them make life miserable for everyone on the planet? And here's another gigantic question we would have to ask. What socio-political economic system would we send to Mars? Because surely we would not want to send the systems that we use on Earth today to a new utopian Mars colony. The systems we use today cause so much suffering, we would have to create something new for Mars. Just think about it. On Earth today, there's a billion people living in slums. There are billions more who don't have access to clean water or sanitation or basic medical services that we take for granted in the developed world. Even in a country like the United States, which is highly developed, there can be extreme poverty, medical bankruptcies, giant student debt, low wages for a majority, and this is supposed to be the good case. Do we want to carry all this suffering and dysfunction with us to Mars? No, of course not. We want Mars to be a utopia. We do not want people living in slums, peeing in buckets, wondering where their next meal will come from. On Mars, things should be perfect or nearly perfect. They should be a lot better than they are here on Earth today. On Mars, we would want to design a socio-political economic system that's much, much better than we have on Earth today. We would want everyone on Mars to be approximately equal and to have easy access to the things they need to live happy, healthy lives. We want them to be able to have great food and water and sanitation. We want them to have health care and education. We want them to have stylish housing and stylish clothing and everything that a human being needs to have a happy and healthy life. In other words, if we're going to build a million person Mars colony, why don't we do it right? Why don't we take this blank sheet of paper and build a utopia that is absolutely perfect for the people who are going to live there? And so here is the gigantic question that this whole thought experiment forces on us today. If we would obviously design a whole new socio-economic political system to put on planet Mars when we send a million people there, then why don't we go and develop it and implement it here on Earth today? We could do so much good for billions of people if we would take the time to do this. Why not do it and get it all worked out here and then ship it to Mars? Why not? I'm Marshall Brain, and thank you for thinking about this with me today.